We're going to talk about the network edge control and data plane real quick. It's it's, it's a bit in the weeds, but it's good to have a, an understanding of the uh, control and data plane and how connections are created across the entire infrastructure to uh, to build a connection between between the network edge device and a respective provider that's on the exchange or, or connecting to yourself. But we'll we'll show you what the control plane looks like as you connect to a, a provider. We'll just use AWS for example. So. But once you understand the control plane and the data plane and how it gets built, you can apply it to any provider or any connection across the fabric. So very simply, if you want to create a uh, connection between two devices, not necessarily network edge, but I'll draw it out very simply. If we want to create a connection between two devices, these interfaces here have to be in the same, same broadcast domain, right? So for this interface to talk to this interface, if this interface is uh, 01C and this interface is 01D, the MAC address, uh, they have to be in the same broadcast domain so they can talk to each other. So we're going to expand on this concept and show you show you all the components in between. So you, you can see how the, the, the control plane gets built from one side of uh, the network edge device all the way to the pairing device and the, the respective cloud provider. So let, let's start right here on the network edge portion of it. So on the network edge device, here, there is a virtual switch. And the virtual switch is the VPP back, uh, VPP V switch. Uh, VPP stands for virtual packet processing. And that's the virtual switch that gets plumbed down to the network edge device. And as part of that network edge device, or as, as part of the instantiation of the device when it gets spun up, there's a VXLAN network identifier here. So let's just call this VNI7410. So this VXLAN network identifier gets plumbed all the way down to the VPP V switch and the VNI7410 is instantiated or, or connected, if you will, to each interface on the device that you spin up. So say this is gig, uh, interface gig four on this network edge device. VNI 7400 is attached to gig four. This gig four interface also has a MAC address. So let's, let's call that MAC address 01C. It's a lot longer than that, but we'll use the last three, uh, three numbers, and the three characters in the, in the um, address. So gig four has MAC address 01C, assigned to it and VLAN or VXLAN network identifier 7410 is, is plumbed or mapped back to GIG4 and GIG4 has this, this MAC address on it. So this is what the construct looks like. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this 01C MAC address, just like I have here, over to my respective router or my respective peer in this case, to put it in the same broadcast domain. So if I draw it out on this side, I've got an interface and this interface has a MAC address of 01D. So again, the whole purpose, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get 01C and 01D in the same broadcast domain. So the way we do that is in the NFE infrastructure, the, the network function virtualized infrastructure where the VNFs run. So in this NFE infrastructure, there is a thing called a VTEP, a VXLAN tunnel endpoint. And the, the VXLAN tunnel endpoint, more specifically, sits on top of the switching infrastructure. But let's, let's forget all that for the sake of this discussion. So there's a VTEP. A VTEP's job is to peer with another VTEP and tunnel VNIs across this, this infrastructure here. So I'm trying to get VNI 7410 across this infrastructure here. So this VTEP here, say this VTEP is 1.1.1.1, that's the address of the VTEP, 2.2.2.2. I'm trying to get VNI 7410 passed across this. EVPN infrastructure. So EV, EVPN is the control plane, and EVPN stands for Ethernet Virtual Private Network. 
So as part of this EBV and control plane, I've got to get BNI 7410 across this, across this backbone. So what happens is at this point on the ECX switch, the NFE infrastructure is connected to the, to the ECX switch. So what happens is this 01C MAC address gets plumbed and gets stitched across this VXLAN, or, or I'm sorry, this uh, EVPN infrastructure. So 01C MAC address gets carried across this infrastructure, across VLAN, uh, across the, the VNI 7410. 01C shows up here on the ECX switch. So now this 01C MAC address has showed up on the ECX switch. But there's a little bit more I need to do. Let me create a little bit more room here. There's a little bit more I need to do to get this infrastructure across the ECX switch.